everyone. Welcome to the palette diaries. Today we are going to transform this into this. So let's get started. To make this process of painting very easy, we have sketched the entire outline and the design on a piece of paper and replicated the same on the bottle. You will require the following materials to make this pretty vase. A white spray paint, few acrylic colors, a dotting kit, a black marker and a paintbrush. We will be starting by giving a coat of spray paint on the bottle. We have used off-white spray paint and given an even and smooth coat of paint on top of the bottle and set it aside to dry for about 3 to 4 hours. Once the paint is dry, you can see that we have a very smooth and even surface on top of which we are going to use a pencil to start drawing the outline before we get started with the painting. As you can see, we have the outline drawn out on the entire surface of the bottle. We've ensured that the pencil outline is very light and not too dark. The next step is to start painting these ovals using acrylic paints. We've chosen to keep it as colorful as possible. So we've used all the colors and painted each of these ovals in different colors across the entire bottle. Now that that is done, the next step is to make sure we get the right shade to paint the piglet that we've drawn. So we have used the shades nude, pink and a slight amount of brown to get the right shade. Try mixing it as much as you can so that you get the right shade before you get started with the painting. Now that we have the right shade, we've painted the entire body of the piglet using that color. We've added just a little bit of brown to get a slightly darker shade to give the outline to the piglet's body. We've painted a heart on the other side of the bottle using acrylic red and using a dotting kit we've just given few dots along the outline of the heart to give it a highlight. You can also use a pencil tip instead of the dotting kit. Next we are going to give an outline using a permanent marker on all the ovals that were painted earlier. We've used a black permanent marker by Faber Castell. And voila it's done. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more such content. We would also love to hear from you your thoughts, feedback or any suggestions on this video. So please feel free to leave your thoughts on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with a new DIY next week. See you.